All right, guys, so here we are sitting with the man who takes on Fabrizio Verdum in the main event of UFC Sydney. Sounds good, being in the main event. He's obviously Madachin Tibota. Uh, what, what, first of all, welcome to Australia, welcome to Sydney. Second of all, what, was, what went through your mind when you got the call for the opponent switch? You were meant to fight Mark Hunt, and then in comes Fabrizio Verdum. What was your reaction? My reaction is, uh, at first, I just didn't like this changing because it's happened to me all the time. It's already been, uh, I had like four fights in the UFC uh, and I think that was a f already four that something changed, mm. like uh, sometimes like 24 hours before the fight. But, you know, that was a gr already great fight for me to, to you know, to face uh, Mark Hunt. Uh, I don't want to talk about why why he was pulled uh, off the fight uh, and uh, stuff like this. But if I, w I when I was offered to fight Fabricio, uh, it took me like one hour to to speak with the coaches. They said if you want to do it, let's do it. And you know, I just got you know excited because you know, they they both great fighters, and Fabricio is you know much higher in the rankings. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's just a bigger chance for me. Ultimately, speaking of training, it's two different opponents. Obviously, Vadum is a killer on the ground. Mark Hunt's known for his striking. How did that affect your preparation? Because we know you were over at Jackson Winkle, John, which is a fantastic gym uh, with some great coaches. How do you do la last-minute switches to training to start preparing for a guy like Vadum? Yeah, that was, you know, completely different <laughs> fighting style. You know, this, this, the, this guy's cap. And... We, we, that was still six weeks up to the fights, I guess. I guess that was six weeks to the fights. So lots of time to change, to switch, switch plans. It was, of course, that was, you know, much of a difference. I don't want to say, you know, what the plan for the fight or stuff like this, but, but you know, lots of experience in the injection swing. They did it before. I think they have like, uh, like cases in, in the camps when they switch opponents for, mm -hmm. for, the, for their fighters like, like 24 hours before the fight. So. Mm. So they they just you know gave a, a different idea for for the plan and I think they what they do they they sit down a lot of the coaches from the gym they sit down they think about them they gives ideas what would be the best for the fights and we once once you know they give me they give me the plan we start doing it. Talk to us about as far as, uh, you know, Vadum in his last fight. He obviously had a very quick turnaround against Walt Harris. What did you think of that fight? And I guess when you think of, you know, Fabrizio Vadum, you don't really judge him by his last fight. You judge him by his, his entire oh, yeah. career. Do you think in some ways it's, it's a benefit for you that he just fought recently and he's sort of going back and doing another training camp? And what are you, what are you expecting from him in the fight? Do you think he'll maybe shoot for you early in the, take, in the, in the first round for the takedown, try and submit you? Mm, you know, I don't think it's it's advantage for me that he got fought like five weeks ago because sometimes sometimes you prepare for the fight and you just uh, after the fight you feel much better than the, than in the fight. So so he, we always have a plan like to be the best shape on the fight, but sometimes it come like two or three weeks later. Have you, have you had that happen? We've gone to a fight two weeks later. I did, I did actually, you know, I just came back to the to the gym like two weeks after the fight and started sparring and I feel, you know, like like <laughs> best shape of my life. Which, which fight was this for? Just curious. Uh, actually, that was a that was, uh, fight with, uh, with uh, Luis Henriquez. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just uh, came back to the gym to spar with my with my teammates who uh, who has a uh, fight coming up, and, and that was the case. Uh, what are you expecting from Verdum in this fight? Do you think he'll try and submit you in the first round? I think I think he will, for the first round, I, I know he, he likes to start crazy. The flying <laughs> oh, kick, right? Yeah, you the prepared, flying, you prepared yeah. for that because we spoke to him earlier and he said the flying kick may be coming out again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is there a flying kick reversal that you've got planned? <laughs> no, not really, but that, that's something <laughs> I Do you I have a flying mind? kick that you'll throw on him to try and throw him off? <laughs> I don't think so. That would be a good. You know, that's something he, he likes to do and, and I think I will be prepared if, if anything's happened. Uh, I don't actually. It's hard to say what what would be his plan for for the fight, mm. but he's really smart. He's good. he's got really smart coaches, and I think they will be like you know che checking the stuff in the first round and, and switches in, in a second. It's it's you know it's the same for in my case. If I feel like I I'm able to you know to struggle with him in the ground, I will. If I'm if I will if I, if I feel like um, you know. Have a good stand-up with him and can outstrike him. 
I will. That's that's you know. I think that's that's the same in his mind. He's really smart in in a fight, even though he he do this crazy you know uh, stuff like 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 walking forward with the punches yeah. and everything. I like, I think he's he's really smart guy. Just quickly talking about what's on the line here. Obviously, he's ranked much higher. You mentioned that before. What do you think a win over him does? Because there's that fight with Overeem and Nagano. They believe they deserve the next title shot. But if you do beat Vaduman convincingly this weekend, what do you think it does for where you stand in the rankings and what, for what's next? You know, he was like, uh, he's former champion. And that was like, I don't know, a couple of months ago, like, like more than 10, I guess. Uh, so yeah, if I beat him, I'll ask for the title shot. I know that I know that will be uh, the um, Alistair and uh, and Francis fighting for the title shot too. But you know, I ask if they give me, that will be a pleasure for me to Wh fight. When do you think you'll ask? Do you think you do it in the octagon? If assuming you get a big win, do you think you will get on the microphone, do a big call out? <laughs> I, Quiet mouths don't get fed. You I know. You know be I like to be spontaneous. If, yeah. if you know, it's be a I just surprise. yeah, yeah. I need to be focused on the fight. I want to be. I want to be focused first on the fight, and then uh, we'll see what's happened, uh, uh, and then and then ask. Yeah. Perfect. Well, it's going to be an exciting week weekend. Everybody's excited here in Sydney. Just quickly, if people are putting money on this fight, how, how do you think it finishes? How do you see yourself getting your hand raised? What's what's the prediction? My prediction is. Uh, we are heavyweights, so I don't think that it will go to the distance. So, so what else can happen? Submission or a knockout? <laughs> it's going to awesome. be an exciting morning, I think, here in <laughs> Sydney. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, yeah. Thank you.